Please enjoy this five minute video of training an Indian ringneck parrot named King Kong to enter and stay in a crate. The entire training process took two 15 minute training sessions. To give King Kong more control over the training process, I chose to train with free shaping. This has led to a greater fluency in the crating behavior than when I have used luring with food or targeting to a stick. If you are interested in a behavior coach for advice and guidance in working with your birds, please contact Andy Hall at 970-217-6668. When crate training using free shaping, I'm watching the bird's body and looking for any approximation or small movement towards our end goal of going into the crate. When I see any small movement, such as a movement of a foot glancing towards the crate or moving the head, I say good and I reinforce with some food. So King Kong here is just looking around, seeing what he can do to get his reinforcement. And you notice that very quickly, he realizes by looking at the crate, moving in that direction, he is getting reinforced. I'm not saying anything except for good and giving him the food. Very quickly, he realizes to put his head through the opening of the crate and is quickly followed by a toe. He is get a, given a jackpot at this point, several pieces of food for going that extra distance and putting that foot on the lip of the crate. Notice that this time, several toes on his left foot went on the lip of the crate. Now I edited out the multiple steps of maybe left foot on the crate several times. As you'll see here, now his right foot goes onto the lip of the crate. So that's quite different than just the left foot. As you'll notice, I'm asking King Kong to come back to my hand every time after a repetition of going towards the crate. This allows him to repeat a full repetition of going towards the crate and stepping on the lip instead of just getting the food right at the crate and only going a little bit further than he did last time. Repetition is very key in building that confidence and reducing some of that fear that he might be having over the crate. Our approximations of going into the crate are getting much closer. We have two feet on the lip and he is leaning tor towards the perch inside the crate. You may have noticed that the door is, has been removed from this crate. I usually start off the process by removing the door so that there's one less obstacle, something that I may have trouble controlling and that may scare the bird from the crate. Now during this same training session, I move the camera so that we can have a better view of what King Kong is doing as he's going to this crate. He actually progressed quite a bit further than I expected in this one little training session. You'll notice for some birds, especially those with long tails like macaws and parakeets, that that tail will get in the way and that may cause some regression that first time they try to turn around. If they hit their tail, that may scare them, make them feel uncomfortable and that may cause them to not want to go as quite as far as they just had that previous step. And that regression is fine. Just work with it and keep doing what you're doing and they'll quickly get over it. Having a perch inside the crate may help many of our birds feel more comfortable while staying in the crate for longer periods of time. Right now, I'm giving King Kong a high frequency of reinforcements for standing on that perch and not coming off. This will increase the time that he will stay on that perch comfortably. I have installed the door back onto the crate in order to desensitize King Kong to the door and having it closed while he sits on his perch. At any time, if you see discomfort in your bird or fear of the crate, immediately open that door and let them come out. By giving them this control over their environment, 
you actually help them reduce their fear of the crate because they can have some they have something to do about it if they are afraid right now i am offering reinforcers food reinforcers to king kong through the side of the crate while the door is closed it's not latched just closed so i can quickly open it if he wants to come out king kong has been very comfortable going in and out of his crate but every once in a while we'll see signs of fear like that little pause before going into the crate always allow them to be able to come out of the crate if they would like and open that door during their training sessions I have been told that it is not normal for parrots to like to ride in crates. So if you are interested in having a bird who is not normal, please contact me at 970-217-6668.